Change All the right. title to the post show. Ah, yeah, post show. It's not loading again for me. It's not loading again? Yeah, for me at least. Oh, no, no, what it is. Okay, it is? Yeah. All it's right. working. It's working. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, double checking everyone. Are we good? Please let me know if we're good. Uh, yeah, I check. I checked yep. sound for a second. It sounds sound good on stream too. All right, update stream title. Okay. Uh, let me check chat. All righty, hey guys. Um, so what a fucking episode. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. I, okay. I'm out of breath. I, that was insane. Yes, thank you so much to everyone who came in for this stream. Like, oh my. seeing not just Luke's reactions, but everyone's reactions was just honestly fucking amazing. And, uh, yeah, we've well and truly broke Luke between the game and all the donations. Oh my god, it was insane. Oh. Uh, but yeah. So, yeah, Toddy, um, you said you came in late. Make sure to go back and watch the VOD. Yeah. Yes. It is well Do worth it. it. Yeah, be sure, for anyone who missed any bits right. of it, be sure to watch the VOD because it's it's just honestly insane. Um, <sighs> so, yeah, all right. Um, first off, um, any thoughts, guys? What do you guys think of the first episode? Um so, majority of what was shown in today's episode was finished, uh, it was mostly finished up probably around November time last year. Um, uh, as well as... Oh a, my god, the Shedinja. Uh, oh my god, the Shedinja. We've got so much to get to. Alright, let's just take it, <laughs> let's just take it back from the start. Okay, um, let me just see. Wouldn't be a Luke LP without some technical difficulty. <laughs> yep, okay. Of course. Um... Oh, come on. Is the stream... Okay, I think... No, you went too far back. Yeah, I'm trying to get... I think... Too much, man. Whoa, okay. Cozo, five bucks oh, oh, that's the problem, because it was over two hours. Um, we got to wait till Luke edits it first to get everything in it. Yeah, oh. he, he was going to cut out the thing. Yeah, all right. Yep. Um, <sighs> okay, so yeah. Uh, in case anyone's wondering, the reason why the game didn't work to begin with... Um, <laughs> was because Luke did not delete his update data, which was something I put in the instructions for the installing that I gave him. But, I mean, we all make mistakes, so... But, yeah. Um, so, first things first, when the game gets released publicly, make sure that you delete your update data, otherwise it will not work. <laughs> uh, anyway. All in all, Luke's a dumbass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we, we got it to work in the end, so... Um, it's, so let's, uh, skip ahead here a bit. Uh, let's go to, okay, so the game starts, um, so yeah, Professor Yoen. Um, this was another idea that was literally thrown out right from the beginning of the game. Like, the first day that we started this project, we, like, we had a chat that we just spitball ideas on what we'd want to see. And one of the first things that w was put in there was we want Professor Yowen and him just spouting the Twitch TOS because <laughs> that whole joke and join avenue was just amazing and we wanted it to live on. He was actually able to read it as well. Yeah. All of it, even though the text was very fast. And yeah, for reference, the um, this intro text, most of it was copy pasted from Twitch's actual terms of service. <laughs> like, there were bits and pieces I shortened just to make it all fit, but, yeah, it was actual, um, yeah, it was actual, uh, dialogue from the Twitch terms service. Um, so yeah, uh, continue onwards, let's see, um, okay, so, uh, yeah, uh, got the truck here, um, so yeah, the player model, um, it was said in, like Luke said in the stream later on, um, this shirt was indeed based off his first piece of merch, the uh, Ur8 guys shirt. Or the -bit, was it the 8-Bit Bros one or the Ur8 guys? I can't remember. Uh, Ur8 guys. Yeah, so it was the Ur8 guys shirt. Um, and 
because when we were looking for a design, no one really knew what we could do that w would work for the shirt. Because um, obviously, when designing, uh, like us changing the outfits on the characters, all of the clothing is mirrored straight down the middle. <coughs> so whatever design we had, it had to be able to be mirrored. And so we thought, what easier way than a giant ape? It references his sh and referencing his OG shirt. So yeah, um, it was all just fun and games sort of thing to get something. Um, all right, so onwards here. Um, <coughs> so yeah, we got all this intro text here. Uh, I say I get a little bit of buffering here and there because obviously streaming and watching the video back in HD. Uh, but yeah. Oh come on! All right, let's see if I can. Yes. No, just leave it. Okay, so this dialogue here shows how dated these edits were. These edits were made like right at the start, <laughs> right after Infinity War came out last year. <laughs> so this this so shows just how how like how dated. This early dialogue was. I don't feel so good. <laughs> like, it was, yeah, just. We had to have a bit of a crack up with it. <clears throat> Add some jokes here. A little bit. And funnily enough, not. We didn't really change much of the NPC dialogue anywhere except for the first town. <coughs> oh, sorry. Hey, Google. So, yeah, um. Going forward. No need to get Luke to talk to every NPC. The few that we have changed, we've outlined in that crucial information doc that he read at the start of the stream. You're nuts. You're actually nuts. Thank you so much. You got uh, absolutely yay. ridiculous. What does she? What does I? No friend say anything in here. But yeah. Um. So going forward, what we got? We've got um. I have to check everything. Uh. Let's see. Oh yeah, he's already gone through this. Um... Yeah. I mean, for me, it's mainly just because I've been talking for so long today and just been so excited for everything that I'm just being. My voice is just dying right now, and we're gonna do all this again tomorrow. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> but yeah, so. Uh, yeah, setting the watch. We wanted to have some way to like. Uh, Even the most mundane things we wanted to change. That's why we had the trainer rules on the uh, table there. So, like, having the trainer rules there was just an idea so that, like, that way we could say, hey, Nuzlocke rules are canon in this universe. So that kind of adds that bit of realism to it. And a lot of these early dialogue changes were to kind of give a lot more realism and give a feel that this universe, you know, the way you play is in line with the way all trainers act in the universe. That's why I know a lot of people noticed how instead of saying fainted, it said died. Because it was one of those things where, you know, in a Nuzlocke, Pokemon die when they're knocked out. So I figured, you know, it was just that extra small little changes like that just add to the whole experience. And I think that's kind of evident from just... Luke's reactions to everything. It's just what? so like people don't realize how much the little things just go a long way in a project like this. Ah, but yeah. Um. Guys, we have 16 all right, so going forward. Uh, so yeah, the YouTube CEO thing that was just another fucking funny dig, because originally the reason like with this, um, we originally thought Luke was gonna stream this on Twitch instead of YouTube. So that's why you notice there's a lot. That's why. That's why you notice there's a lot more Twitch references instead of YouTube ones. So, yeah. going forward, the there will be more Twitch references. Um, I won't say how they come forward. Uh, but there are more Twitch references going forward. Um, and yeah, it's overall we wanted to have it like kind of walk that fine line between like realism and just goofy kind of references having fun sort of thing because we don't we didn't want to make this game like super fucking edgy dark depressing and everything but we still want like we still wanted it to be an experience that you wouldn't find from a normal pokemon game 
so try and like there are a few parts that get a bit sh like difficult to kind of balance either way but overall i feel like we did a really good job with it um and the feedback from our testers and everything um and the people who've worked on the game like where all like we wouldn't have given it to Luke if it wasn't in a state that we were happy with. <laughs> so anyways, um, uh, going forward, uh, let's see. Okay, so, uh, let me just skip forward to Paddy real quick. So yeah, here we go, Paddy here. So, fun fact about this, Paddy was not meant to be our original rival. Originally, when we first began the hack, the rival was actually Dina, back when Luke and Dina were dating. We thought instead of having a rival kind of thing, it's that it would have like, you know, two lovers going through the region uh, on a journey together sort of thing. Um, now, obviously, Luke and Dina ended up splitting up. Thankfully for us, like, it happened early into development, so it wasn't too difficult to swap everything over, but... You'll notice in particular with some of the later dialogue that he speaks a lot differently to the earlier stuff. And that's because the earlier stuff, we were just trying to rework Dina's dialogue more than create unique Paddy dialogue. Um, but yeah, uh, two people muted. Who's muted? Uh, Toddy and uh, Batman. Bat and Batman. Uh, yeah. I say, Toddy's in the stream chat and Batman's mic, I'm pretty sure, is just a bit, eh. Oh, yeah. So... Uh, what's it called? Um, like, I know Toddy uh, is in the chat there, like in Twitch chat, and Batman pops in here and there sort of thing uh, when he has something to contribute. Uh, but yeah, so what else do we have? Um, oh yeah, also, uh, the reason why he's facing backwards um, is a technical limitation for the game, in that basically... Um, with cutscenes like this, they're separate models from the overworld models. And originally we tried keeping the normal animation so it should face the right way. But when we did that, Paddy's hair just started distorting all over the place. And it was just the weirdest thing. <laughs> it was super funny, but it's like, we realistic, it looks more professional having the animations face the wrong way than it does to have the models bugging out so there are a lot of trade-offs like that where we'd have to um we basically had to decide humor or professionalism and we wanted this to feel like a proper like professional project sort of thing in a way like it's we still obviously want it to feel like a fan game and an experience that obviously you can't get with um that's a dog. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. But yeah, we wanted it to feel like a um like a fan game still. But obviously we wanted it to um have a lot more realism than you see in a lot of different fan hacks. So that's why um like something you'll notice is that throughout the game, like there isn't any swearing. Like we didn't want it to be like that you see a lot of edgier hacks where they'll start swearing and cursing and yes. like we just didn't want that we wanted it to be an experience that you know everyone can enjoy yep especially if you like provide it for the viewers later on yeah exactly the, the kids as well yeah in that direction oh. That's hilarious and yeah like <laughs> paddy here like this dialogue i had to go to his videos just because i was like I don't know what to write for his opening line if and so that's why we came up with the whole streaming element of it is that okay i can't think of a way to introduce him so let's just have him that he's currently live streaming and that you're just going up the stream bomb and you just catch him off guard <laughs> and it's funny because in all honesty there's a lot of encounters with patty where it starts with Oh, you caught me off guard. As you can see at the end of this um, uh, stream, when he bumps into Paddy at Rustbury, it leads it with, "Oh, caught me off guard. Didn't realize." <laughs> and mostly, it's because Wait. I'm just like, I don't know how to really 
didn't really figure out a good way to have just a casual interaction start for a lot of them. Uh, Joel, is there a fairy gym or is that spoilers? Uh, you will find that out in the next few episodes. Possibly. Um, <clears throat> I mean... But yeah, so... So um, far... Sorry? Well, 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 we'll get to that. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, wait. You guys got things to say, or...? No, my... No, I, I can't have view, more I can't comments on Discord. things coming up. I can't view Discord chat at the moment. <laughs> Hey, look at no uh, uh, let me see if someone says anything in. Uh, yay. <coughs> uh, sorry. Whatever. No, what? Just, just a mic. Oh my god. There's over it. Oh my god. I, I'm sorry. I. We, oh my we god. Al we already have what? fan art of this series. Wait, what? Someone has someone has drawn fan art of Sneezer. on Twitter, All right. Holy shit! This uh, is honestly f amazing. I oh my god! <coughs> I love this. Look at that! Oh where's my it, god, that's it, so where's good. Where's it, where's it? It's on Luke's. Twitter. Luke just retweeted it. Oh yeah, my god! That's so good. Yeah, mass shout outs to Jack's Ball. Give me the follow. That oh, I love that. Where where the fuck is Chrono when we need him? Yeah. Where, wasn't the Sneasel the five percent encounter? Yeah, Sneasel was a five percent encounter and was the only dream form on that route. Like And Sneasel's probably the best dream form oh, on that route. Easily, like one of the best it's probably one of the best forms to get early game. Yeah, and it was a five percent. Uh, why the starters? Uh, good question. Uh, we'll actually we're pretty much up to that now. Um, yeah, well that's yeah, coming well, up next. Nice. We okay, so the starters. Um, so there's a long story with the starters. Um, oh, good lord! I'm not gonna go. There was into, a lot. Of I'm, shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into all of it. But let's just say it took us a long time to come to an agreement on these starters. Um, we on our first day we had a lot of ideas that were being spitballed and you know uh ideas were all over the place you know the environment was a bit shaky here and there um but after time we kind of collected a whole number of ideas for starters and put them to votes in the server and after about three or four votes because we had so many votes where the starter selections were tied um it took about three or four votes for us to basically come to the conclusion of these three starters and the whole gimmick with these three starters is that when they evolve each of them are quad weak to something so for example ferrothorn becomes grass uh, steel uh which is quad weak to fire and then meg cargo fire rock quad weak to water gastrodon water ground quad weight to grass so it was a nice little trio we had with that and they're all just two stage instead of three stage so yeah it was it was yeah basically one of the more clever ideas that we had for the starter trio and it's one of those things where it's like you know it's not very often that you see all these pokemon in let's plays let alone having them shine so much so we really wanted to have it a bit more special like that and uh what's it called one of the things as like a little post game easter egg is the other lot of starters uh basically have been replaced with the starter selections that were lost in the votes <coughs> so yeah that's a little insider secret for that this is Boy, what you oh, could have had <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. All right. Yes, my keyboard is loud. Yeah. Thank you so much. But yeah, so let's see. What else do we have here? Okay, um, so, um, so yeah, music yeah, is um for the. Yeah, let me skip forward to the battles real quick. Um, oh yeah. Oh, that was okay, so okay, nice cool. direction. So, so yeah, the wild battle so music. So um, <laughs> this wild battle music is honestly um. This was something that I hard pushed for. Um, in all of my personal hacks, I've 
that I've done just playing for myself. I've done music hacks before. Um, and yeah, basically with these music hacks, um, I always have this one song as the Wild Encounter music because it's just so fitting for, like, just having, you know, <coughs> a long journey, this, like, nice battle music sort of thing. Where is it from? Uh, it's from Fire Emblem Fates. Uh, the song is uh, Road Taken Raw. Uh, and yeah, all the music for the game, um, we'll be posting links for it in the Discord server, uh, so you can go through listen to all of them. Is that the Brainfly Wobs? Yo, let, <laughs> let, me, let me hit you up with this mod real quick. Um, there we go, mod user. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to hop in the call, Logan, you're more than welcome to. But yeah, so um, this wild battle music was yeah basically more of a passion thing for me in that yeah, I feel like it's my signature uh, kind of music thing to add to it. And yeah, um, it was just fun. Uh, I know it's female, David. Would you like? To but yeah, name? so uh, David, would you like to name? And I mean, the wild battle music just works so well. Suggestion in the chat. I like, I was surprised how well Shelley, it uh, managed to line up. Uh, so, yeah, next bit. Um, what's it called? Professor Yoan. Yeah, he's he's great. Uh, come on. Yoan only wants to be dressed by Professor Yoan. Yeah. Alright. So, this part, I will do so. This part here I wanted to go over. So, in the game's coding, surprisingly, it's not actually possible to, um... <clears throat> it's not actually possible to change the name of, like, the name of the starter Pokemon in that dialogue. <laughs> so, we decided, you know, instead of, like, that's why we came up with this line here, because it's one of those things where a theme in the, like, development of the game is, okay, if we couldn't change something, then we're going to find every way to make it look intentional. <laughs> and I know... <laughs> It's a terrible way to go about it. But there are a lot of things that you won't even realize until watching like this post stream bit here. Um, that, yeah, there are a lot of things in the game that weren't intentional, but we made it look like it <laughs> going forward. That's a weird and it's one. funny, anyway, so it's not the even that big of a deal. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's broken as long as it's funny. Exactly. Then it's a feature. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those things where it's just like taking bugs and turning them into features. You know, you never know. Can't have any bugs if they're a feature of the game. We're on job offers from Bethesda. And so that's why another thing, like, for example, with the Pokedex, like, Luke checked the Pokedex before going and doing the uh, sub noodle grunt in the forest. And there's a line of dialogue from the uh, researcher who basically says, please refrain from using the Pokedex. And so it's like subtle things like that that are our way of trying to convey in-game what is broken and what isn't sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, so like this line here, uh, the whole, have you visited Paddy yet? Um, this line of dialogue was copy, like literally the exact same for Dina originally. <laughs> So, okay. Sorry? I I don't mean to interrupt. That's okay. I just want to point out something funny that Luke posted in the public server. Yeah. He said that he called out how rare the Sneasel is. He went back and tried to find another for the thumbnail and he can't find one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wait, sorry, what? <laughs> He's trying to find uh, another Dreamform Sneasel for the thumbnail. Oh my god, if Luke finds a shiny trying to get the... <laughs> uh, I mean, technically, shiny claws. Yeah, but I mean, if he's not streaming at the time. Yeah, still. <laughs> oh god, that's funny. He's gonna get it. You know he's gonna get it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, why is the deck snap always broken in ROM hacks? Uh, basically, Shark, um... The problem with deck the problem with Dexnav is that in the game the Dexnav is hard coded to have um, a limited number of slots for Pokemon on it, but the randomizers and the programs that can edit the games 
allow you to go over that number. So if you go onto a route that has more encounters than are uh, able to be fit on the deck snap, then whenever you pull out the deck snap, it just crashes the game. Um, there's currently no way around it other than basically limiting the number of encounters, but we didn't want to be we didn't want to go with that route. We want to have as many encounters as we can uh, to have as many as much variety. So that's why we kind of had the idea of just basically okay, just don't use the deck snap. Um, not even very, very mandatory, is it? Yeah, it's just an optional thing. It now I will say, Again. on some routes it does work, um, but on others it just crashes. Um, shiny rate is one in five hundred. Uh, on that topic, are there shiny dream forms? Yes, every dream form has a custom shiny, as well as majority of the normal Pokemon all have custom shinies in this game as well. So, look forward to that if he ends up finding a shiny. <laughs> I mean, knowing his luck, he won't even get one. Fair. Fair. <laughs> I, I took all the shinies during casting, he's not getting any. <laughs> <laughs> And if your Pokemon hey, get tired, take them back to your house or a Pokemon center for healing. That hush, hush, Totty. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know how to untime out right, someone's shit. Right, listen, how do I do it? <laughs> <laughs> you just set the timeout for one second, don't you? Thanks, Matt. <laughs> I'm so high <laughs> to listen. <laughs> Wait, I, I, I can try and focus on that if you oh, mod it. If you can work out how to... Actually, have I got you modded in here, Vic? No. Okay, I don't fuck. think so. Um, Slash permaban toddy. Please don't permaban me. <laughs> okay, there you go. Yeah, slash um, unbanned. Yeah. That's shocking. Cool, there we go. I can't believe I got permaban. <laughs> We're accidentally boasting a spoiler. Oh, uh, yay. But yeah, so, um, okay. Uh, what are we got going forward? Ah, next thing. The Rotom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, too far. Okay. Oh, that was so sad to be honest. The way he was convinced. Okay, so uh, some people figured this out during the um. Some people figured this out during the stream. Um, but basically, the first encounter in any Gen Six game is always a static encounter. In the normal games, it's always a worm pool. In uh. Or us. So we were able to take advantage of that and put this Rotom here. But the thing is, he doesn't have Pokeballs. So he can't cash this Rotom and he will never find it again on this route. <laughs> <laughs> and so we just wanted to we wanted to have some other like a different thing. Like we had ideas for something like Mew or some other Pokemon, Lucario, something that he likes. But we figured, you know. We didn't want to be that mean. So. Not just mean so, enough. So, yeah. Some you probably would have been a bit much experienced. Yeah, you, like, yeah. We just figured, you know, Rotom, Channel Mascot, it, it kind of works. You know, we wanted to be cruel, but not too cruel. That's what the Shedinja's for. <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah. Okay, so, uh, going forward. But yeah, another thing, like, aside from yep. this Rotom, okay, oh so, Rattata on Route 1, um, basically in this game, uh, we have a lot, like, especially early game, a lot of the routes are type-themed, so the first route is all normal types, um, so hence why he found, he found Rattata, Eevee, um, stuff like that. Percentage for Rattata, I'm pretty sure it's 20%. It's either 10 or 20% from memory. I think it's like 20. It's somewhere around, somewhere I, between there. I feel like with with the amount he found, it's got to be 20, yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, what's it called? So the Shedinja? Um, we will get to that uh, soon. Um, just trying to yeah, go... We through, still have a bit to yeah, go. Just trying to go through chronological order for now. Are there stones for Eevee? Um, yes, I mean, 
I don't know why there wouldn't be stones for Eevee. Like, we didn't really change anything about it, so. No, like, uh, for the Moss and Ice Rock. Yeah, that, I think I mean, that they're, was they're, the they're, question. they're in the game anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Are yeah. they? Yeah. The Moss Stone is in, um... Oh, right, Petalburg. Moss Deep, uh, isn't it? No, it's not Moss Deep. <laughs> I'm pretty sure no. it's Petalburg. Um, okay. And yeah, the oh, oh, ice, yeah. the icy stone is in um, Shell Cave. Shell Cave. Yeah. Yeah. No, and I Lost I didn't even realize he stone. I didn't oh, realize yeah. he could have had a leaf yarn. Yeah. <laughs> like now. Uh, yeah. yeah All right. right. So. I, I, I... Um, okay. Next up, the Paddy Battle music. <laughs> so, Luke thought this was um. <laughs> Uh, have you ever, oh my god! Yeah, Luke thought this was what's it called? Um, a brain so fly song. Um, let me skip forward a bit. Um, this song. <laughs> okay, so we were in call one day discussing tra like when we were just decided to switch over to Paddy instead of um Dina for the rival, and we're just like, okay, what music do we want to go with for Paddy? And none of us really had any good ideas. And then, as a joke, someone played Worth It by Fifth Harmony on the music bot in our call. And was just like, yo, just put this. And I, like, I just thought to myself, well, we can't because of copyright. Like, And I thought a bit more. I was like, hmm. We could edit the song. We could <laughs> remix the song. And so... At that point, we looked up an instrumental version of the song, opened it in Audacity, edited the song a bit, and thus you have the rival battle theme. And yeah, it we just lost it when I got this uploaded. And it was originally meant to be a joke, but you know, we just had to stick with it afterwards. It was just too yeah, good. Uh Originally, it was only meant to be while beta testing, and we were gonna swap it out for actual music. But it was just too good. It was, it's too good! Yeah. yeah. It's too good. Uh, so the music is sped up as well as pitched up and instrumental. No way. Did Brainfly but yeah, this? um. Brainfly made this, didn't they? So that's the thing, it's like. That it. In respect, it is. Like some areas, is it is a bit difficult so to crazy. pick. But that's what makes it so good. The part where he missed the drop. Oh, I fucking love that. I just love this entire yeah. stream. It, it was just great. Uh, yeah. Uh. But yeah, okay, so, okay. so there's that. Um, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I just wanna I just wanna point something else out. Okay. Here he is now trying to deck snap for a sneasel, oh but he keeps God. getting oh. females. <laughs> uh, no, Luke. he. No, 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 no. The the best part is he keeps getting females and he's getting pissed. Oh my God. Oh. And then someone was like, "You're using the Q charm pit of." Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> oh that's great. Oh fuck. <laughs> Oh my god. Why does he uh, why huh? Why does he Q charm Q charm makes it more likely to no, be no, of I the know, opposite but, gender. But why why does does he have to have a male? Be because oh it god. it looks different. The ear is different yeah. on male. Yeah, they, they have like less oh. feathers. Yeah. Alright, so they're going forward. Uh let's see. <laughs> what did we have next? Um Oh yeah, so on in regards to the Dex Nav, um and the whole trying to explain bugs as features in the game. We have the the paddy line here. Oh come on, buffer. Why don't you lower the volume for the boss? Or the quality. Eh. It, it's fine. I just, can see well it's only it only buffers here and there, but yeah, cool. yeah. So yeah, um, okay. the whole thing it can come in handy when it works, but it can crash when keeping it open and exploring new places. Um, that was our yeah. way of trying to break the fourth wall and say, hey, if you use the deck snap while going into new places, it might crash your game. 
Oh, we had a, quite a few testers that struggled with that. Yeah, like, there were multiple people who said, help, my game is crashing, I don't know what's wrong. And, um, and yeah. Is there Logan? Ah, oh, I don't know. That, was, that must have been Sony Vegas, um, with how it worked. Ah, I'm sorry. I mean, it's not really that big a deal, given it still work, flows properly, but yeah. Um, be sure to keep this seat from the presser. You know how obsessed he is with TOS. If you find that, yeah. like, he's flip out on me. Anyways, I'm going to... So yeah, that, that's why we wanted to kind of make it sound like homebrew and stuff like that. So it it gives an in-game explanation for why the deck snap is so buggy. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, but yeah. So anyway, that's that. Um, and yeah, uh, Luke getting the sneezel. You have no idea how much we popped off for this sneezel. Yeah, they were screaming. Oh, because yeah, for reference with the encounter on in this route, sneezel. Yeah, so yeah, sneezel here. This sneezel is the only dream form uh on this route and it's a five percent encounter rate and he got it for his first encounter then on not the, only that he got a refrigerator he found it, not only that but he also found one before fighting patty exactly wait no he didn't find one before fighting patty yes he oh. did because he knew it was there did he oh fine no because, yes. because otherwise his reaction wouldn't have been like that he only found Ellie Kids no. and uh, Pichu's. Yeah, no, I, I 100% guarantee it because he I mean, found out it was refrigerated while because he found it while he was grinding. No, he found it while I'm it was. Sure. No, he found it while it was waking in this. Like, that? yeah. See, what is that? Yeah, because he was switching all the time. Otherwise, he would have just run around grinding on. Huh. Yeah, he didn't find it beforehand. Yeah, that was the first. I could have sworn it. All right. Yeah. No, no, you had two months going into the petty battle. Huh? Are there root uh, legendaries? Uh, no, there are no root legendaries. This isn't a knockoff hack. I was, no, I'm sorry, I was never a fan of legendaries just being in random roots. Um, uh, trust me, we we have looked after the legendaries. Yeah. But yeah, so um. We killed them. <laughs> yeah, we just went full Masuda. We went full Masuda, snapped them out of existence. <laughs> I don't feel so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so... Where's the catcher? Sorry? Uh, Luke's asking... What? What's Luke asking? He's asking oh, where I am. Uh, tell him I'm in the stream at the moment. Um, oh, Batman already told him. Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah. He, they, they told him to stream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm just getting pings about it. Um. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Oh, hey, Luke. He gonna test something. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Luke. He's just going over, kind of just giving some insight to some of the decisions that we went through making this and stuff. <laughs> but yeah. So this um. Yeah, this Sneasel, 5% five, five five encounter, and on top of that, getting Refrigerate as the ability. Luke got very lucky with this. Yeah. Uh, he wanted to open the game with a completed CIA and Citra, uh, so you can access the Pokedex for high-res screenshots. Uh, yeah, that should work. The only thing that the patch, um, how do you open this game in Citra? Um, when you boot up, you install it. yeah, you boot up Citra. Uh, then you go file install CIA um, completed save file. Uh, once it's installed, you right click and go um, right click on A B Bros version and go. Actually, hang on. Uh, let me just sort something out real quick. Uh, see if I can get a scene to show everything. Um, when you get spoiled by that? Sorry. Couldn't you get spoiled by that? By no, I can People make sure. I can make sure that everything's hidden. Um, good, good, I mean, good, good, good. okay. Oh, I I was assuming he was gonna use his own save file. You should be good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Luke's got his own save file. I was just gonna show him how to edit saves. Um, okay, okay, okay. Desktop. 
Okay, uh, I don't know if you can see anything. It might be a black screen right now. Um, where's display capture? Okay. Um, oh yeah, the thing about his own save yeah. file is that he can't, he has to catch a mod in the whole index. Okay, first. there we go. All right, so um, uh, I've got my oh, I've got my screen here. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, whoa, whoa. let me just real quick. Uh, Citra. Okay, so uh, you can see this. Uh, don't want to do update. Uh, let me just get the chat. Don't accidentally spoil something. Now. Yeah, it'll be fine. Paint. Trust me, I know. Yeah, open the full Pokedex. Um, okay, so yeah, basically, um, you once you've got this here on Citra after it's installed, you right click and go open save data location, and then you just drag and drop your save file into here and override it. Or just drag and drop it if you haven't got anything in there. And once you do, you just boot up the game. And it'll just work perfectly. Well, at least it should. Um, should is the key word. Yeah, should is the key <laughs> word. So yeah, it'll have this. And then, yeah. So you got version 1.1. 1. 1. And from there, you can go in-game and sort everything out. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, so yeah, if there's any other problems, oh, just let me know. Discord overlay! <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so we should be back to this now. Okay. Alright, so, uh, what's it called? So yeah, we've gone over Sneasel a bit now. Um... Sneasel personally carried me through the majority of the testing. Yeah, oh, Sneasel was, yeah. It's really It's good. really good. Th it's a Over monster. Next encounter. Yeah. Oh well, you missed next encounter. Sorry. Oh no! Wait, never mind. No. I'm dumb. I missed one. Uh, what's the catch rate for Sneasel? Catch rate. I don't know. It's the default Sneasel catch rate. We didn't really mess with the catch rates too much. Sneasel's yeah, catch rate isn't crazy. I can look it up right now. Yeah. It is sixty. Shout out on Twitter. What the? On okay. Twitter.com. So, pit up here. Pitov was the first string form that we came up with back on the first day when we were just thinking of ideas for the starters. One of the ideas in and ah, one of the ideas included a fairy type Pitov, and while we didn't go with that idea for the starters, we knew that a fairy idea like fairy type Pitov, it was just something we all wanted to see. Did the Discord part of the stream break? Uh, um, okay, there we go. That should be fixed now. Yeah, sorry about that. I was just um tabbed down. Cool. All right. Yeah, it's still going. Cool. But yeah, so pit of's like. Go ahead. Yeah, so this pit of um. Uh, Jordan does like we came up with the idea, and Jordan said, "Here, let me mess around with the sprites," and ended up coming up with this pit of. <laughs> so yeah, she um. Oh yeah, also, f I didn't even think. Let me mod Luke as well, real quick. There we go. But yeah, so, um... Yeah, uh, Jordan made the pit of fairly early on, uh, as well as, um, doing some other things as we went on, but yeah. And I, we all have a lot of... Like, we're all fairly attached to this, because obviously being the first, um, dream form... It just has a special place for us. <laughs> and so that's why on this route and route 104, we made it a 50% encounter rate because it was something we wanted, like we were proud of and wanted to be used sort of thing. But yeah, um, so yeah, catching the pit up, that was awesome. Um, <coughs> uh, let's see. Where's the Shedinja? Okay. <laughs> Time for the Shedinja. <laughs> oh god, what is with that quality? Ew. Come on. I think this, <laughs> this Shedinja was the first trainer battle designed. <laughs> so, so, At least one of them. Okay, the, yeah. Yes, the chat was made for trainer battles mapping in the in the design chat and it instantly final gambit Shedinja. Shedinja. Yeah. <laughs> Video hasn't processed. Yet. Okay, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so this Shedinja uh, battle, what's it called? Um, 
so as you can guess, this whole idea was inspired heavily by Subnoodle version. And so we looked at Subnoodle's first trainer. They had a splashing Mewtwo. And yeah. we knew that we wanted to have something um, similar to it, but we didn't want to just straight up rip it off. And I don't remember who, but someone came up with the idea of Scarf Final Gambit Shedinja. <laughs> <laughs> so that that way yeah. you see it it's a shedinja it's level 10 it's faster than everything that you can find up to now and you can't kill it <laughs> and it just scarf final gambit kills itself and takes off one hp we just thought it was the funniest troll and luke's reaction was just golden to it like we were all just pissing ourselves <laughs> laughing <laughs> watching it <laughs> Imagine dying to that one HP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, originally, we were looking to make it level 100, but we couldn't find a way to stop the experience. Yeah, we give we did not want it to just over level the hell, so we're just like, okay, Shedinja level 10. You know that that's doable. That's enough to give him a scare. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, clearly Luke's reaction just was golden for it. I, I lose. Wait, does that mean I lose all my Pokemon? Or... It was somewhat negated by the fact that he actually had yeah, coverage for it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the initial shock was oh, really funny. Oh yeah, fun fact about this though. Technically, there is one way that you can beat the Shedinja before it final gambits. Sneeze, you've... Wait, he found the shiny. No, or... he okay. he looked in looked the. At the... <coughs> ah, yeah. Yeah. I... Now it's in the Pokedex. He must have looked yeah. in the pile. Yeah, the yeah. yeah, the Sneasel and its shiny were both designed by um Chrono. Like he did those Tr somewhat early in, but yeah. Look at that lucky. Yeah. Tr <laughs> trust me, a lot of the dream forms you're gonna see have sick shiny. Yeah. Getting a HD scale. Hell yeah. So looked at the shiny since you never see it. Um. Is there? <laughs> That's a sad one. I don't, I don't I, think there's more sneezes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's more sneezes anywhere. So that's fair. But yeah, the um, like yeah, as I said um. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> but I mean, the... yeah, we can't guarantee give you shiny. Yeah, we can't guarantee, but you never know what you might find in the wild. Make it one and two a chance to find one. <laughs> no, Luke still no. But find imagine one. not finding. A... <laughs> but imagine still not finding one. Uh... <laughs> Losing coin flips over and over. And over. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What else do we have um, going forward? Okay, um, Patty here. So, <laughs> this was a funny thing. Um, just with, uh, oh, I went a little too far back. Okay. You found a different color flying type. So, <laughs> the reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the reason why this works so well the entire route is filled with Dream Form flying types. Uh, and that's why in the important doc, uh, like the crucial information doc, um, why it said on there, make sure you check out Route 102 because every encounter on there is a dream form. Um, most of them have been revealed already, but I believe there is one that hasn't been revealed so far that's on I, that route. I want to say yes, that there is one. There, there is one, I know for sure. I don't know if there's a second one though. I'm pretty sure all the rest of them have been shown. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's more. I'm pretty, than just I'm pretty sure there's. There. Actually, the route above Thrustboro? Uh, Wait. No, in Route 102. Wait. Yeah. Oh, after, There's after one or two. I don't remember if the other one is I know, actually on this route. I know that we've revealed Pidov. Um, oh, yes, there was. That's one Pidov, missing. Yes, that's one Pidov, missing. Pidov, Ruffler. There, yeah, no, there is one missing. Yeah, Pidov, Ruffler, Hoot Hoot, we've shown. I don't think we've shown the last one. No, you haven't. You haven't. Yeah. Mm -mm. Wait. Although I can't, I feel like there's an one more. I feel like we put five yeah, on yeah. there. Yeah, 
But, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's this one and no mic. I can't see no mic. <laughs> Wait, hold on, let me see. Yeah, let me... It's yeah. the one you listed yeah. in the things Luke yeah. missed document. Yeah, I know that one. There's another one as well. Yeah, but um, is there is there somewhere the I can listed. DM you so you can see it? Uh, I mean, I can check it on my phone. Yeah. Okay, I'll I'll DM that's you the on only Discord. One then. Okay. It's what one or two? Uh, let's see. Um. Okay, Victor, come on. <laughs> it looks like four. Yeah, that one we know. Uh, that was on the route, but we got rid of it from memory. Okay, that, that explains think, okay. it. Then it, it's probably it, yeah, just four. It might just be four then. Either which way, yeah. there is one dream form on that route that has not been shown yet that Luke missed. So it is. it's up to Luke if he wants to go back and um, see it again. Um, May, you're talking about Route 102, right? Yeah, Route 102. Yeah, there's one that. Uh, yeah, as I know there's one I don't. There's one that hasn't been revealed. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's at least what the the thing shows. Yeah, it, it's up to Luke if he wants to go back and uh, see it for himself. Um, I mean, in all fairness, he'll get the chance to go back <laughs> there anyway. Uh, when he fights Harvey. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so that was that was basically just the reasoning why we put that there because it's like yeah, cheeky little way to kind of add some in-game realism sort of thing again. <laughs> And You'll just be teleported to Battleborg. It just if he goes up the fourth yeah. gym. It just covers our um covers our ground with it. Yeah. All right. So Harvey's model. <laughs> um. <laughs> this was this was one that Harvey himself designed like straight away. He was just like, look, like I sat and called with him for about an hour, I want to say, where he gave me a design idea that he wanted. And I would just constantly edit the model and just send them pictures like, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Until we came to this and it's honestly just, it was one of my favorite models. I'm so glad that the um, flannel pattern worked properly because that, I... that was the big thing I was worried about in the, um, in the thing. All right. Oh, we got a screenshot from Luke. Oh my that god, that sick. looks sick. Yo, that looks sick. I love it, Luke. That's great. That looks so good. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's wicked. Where's the screenshot? I wish I, I, wish I knew what you guys were doing. Oh, there. I'm sitting in a hot right spot right now. It's in chat, phone. yeah. I'm yeah. a smart boy. Hey. Nice. Um, Alright, so next up. Christian. So, his music here, um, well, first of all, the model, um, there was a picture, uh, from when, I can't remember when, it was, like, months ago now, when Luke and, um, Luke and Christian went to the casino together, and Christian was wearing a very similar outfit to this sort of thing, with, you know, the black pants mm. and the white button-up shirt, and so he thought, okay, We'll give him that, and then obviously Christian had silver hair at the time, so we wanted to have something like kind of silvery, but also kind of like a bit more anime esque, because obviously it's Christian, and that's why we had the My Hero Academia music for him. Um, yeah, like <laughs> I was terrified that it would be copyrighted, but after like looking at all the videos, it does not generate a claim surprisingly. <laughs> so. Mm. And yeah, like it's one of the few songs that wasn't a remix or a um video game OST that we were able to put in the game. Like there's a couple other songs. I'm not gonna spoil them. Um but yeah. Uh what's it called? Yeah, I mean, there's so much that could, but we, like that was the big thing for us was we had to make sure that whatever music we put in would not generate a copyright claim. Like that was when it came to music, I like the big rule was do not use anything that can create a copyright claim, and don't use any remixes without asking the artist's permission. 
So that's why you're going for. I have to work. That's why you'll find that there's only like a few remixes, and they're all from the same artist, mainly because that was the ones that we could get in touch with and get um, permission from. Yeah. And yeah. also. <clears throat> Yeah, Victor. I just w I just want to point out two details I loved about this stream. First off, as soon as he found out it was Harvey, yeah. he acknowledged that the model was perfect. Yep. And then he basically just needed the music. Yeah. And then he fully went into the Christian. Just oh like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was Logan, glorious. hush you! You know we asked permission from you. <laughs> You literally gave us the music. Yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all. Oh, uh, yeah. Yikes. And yeah, before Brain like the fly copyright flags every single stream. Yeah. But yeah, like, another thing with, um... Oop. Okay. Ooh. I, yeah, I don't have Nightbot in here yet. <laughs> I've only just started streaming <laughs> recently. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> oh, Oof. Quick, someone set up Nightbot, how do I do it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Again, I'm sitting in a hot car uh, <laughs> on my phone, so I'm not gonna watch the stream. Nightbot! <laughs> I'm using big data right now. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of professional are you? Hold on, let me Google. So let me Google how to set up Nightbot real quick. Right, oh, um, I just want to see my mom. Nightbot, <laughs> join channel. <laughs> okay, a mod Nightbot should, should be, be here. A mod Nightbot. Oh, he's already a moderator. Somebody I just <laughs> asked about Sicko Tad. <laughs> okay. Um. There we go. Nightbot's here. <laughs> All right, can someone nice, add, can someone add the command um, 8 bit bros as well to link to the Discord? Cuz I've got that on the layout. Will do. I've got that on the I'm layout. I'm on it. Yeah. I'm on it. Cool. As I say I've got that on the layout but I haven't been able to put it on obviously. But yeah, um so another thing uh, that worked out perfectly with Christian as Wally is the uh, encounter here because there's no way to actually change that from a Rolts. So it just works perfectly that we had Christian there because Christian obviously loving Gardevoir. It's kind of guys, crazy girl. And like another little fun fact about it with the two rivals, the idea we had for it was, you know, Christian as the Soul Link partner. And at the time, Luke was still doing the co-op with Patty, so we we're just like, you know, the co-op partner and the uh, Soul Link partner are the two rivals. <laughs> and so yeah, like, oh, we wanted to have roles for as many people as we could in this, and you'll see going forward, like, other people show up here and there with different things, and it's, yeah, it was honestly a massive effort. Um, most of the people... Uh, who have trainers in the game actually made their teams themselves. So there's very few who actually had their teams made for them. So going forward, if you get wiped by someone, don't blame me, blame the person themselves. <laughs> oh, uh, Matt. Yeah? Actinoid said he figured out how to fix the black on Lotad. And of course, what would any good team uh, be without a bunch of I mean, based items? We can look at that later down the track, but for now, like, obviously, I mean, the black, it adds character. Yeah. It adds character. Yeah, no, I just thought I would. No, nah, he, he already told tell me. You. He already told me before. Okay. It is canon. Uh, but yeah, Sorry. okay, so it's okay. Uh, what else have we got here? Um. It's, yeah, it's grass type, otherwise, they already told uh, me. Let's see, uh, I'm just trying to find bits to kind of point out. Um, okay, what about here? Um, God, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to remember everything that happened. There was just so much that went on in the stream. Just check the preview on the bar, dude. The preview doesn't show up because it's processing still. 
Oh, is this? Well, it should have been. Like, he tweeted about it. An auto tweet came out. Oh, there's his 104 encounter. Yeah. Alright. In that case, let me refresh this. How far did he get? Uh, he got up to uh, Rustboro City, Rustboro. which is funnily enough, oh, is exactly what I predicted he would get to. Yeah, I, like, I, 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 you oh, it's like I said earlier, I was at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke, streaming. Luke said it's still not processed yet. It's two uh, hours twenty-four, and okay. it's playing two hours. Yeah, I figured as much. Um, okay. I mean, there's the sub noodle battle in the forest. Otherwise, there's no thing. No, there are some Ooh. things to point out here and there. Okay. Oh, did Luke say when the next episode was going to be? That uh, goal at the at the oh, end me. at the end of the stream, he said he's going to be going again tomorrow. Uh, Luke's in the chat; he can confirm either way. This is oh, perfect! <laughs> if he's doing it tomorrow, I'll be able to make it to this one. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, just uh, prefacing. Um, our idea is that after every Luke stream, uh, we want to do a stream like this, basically going over the episode, and kind of giving like yeah. almost like a like a um. Like, you know how you have commentary tracks from directors' commentary on movies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We kind of yeah. want to have a similar sort of thing from the developers on this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And so, as I said, um, people who are in the server, they know um, where the call is, and anyone's welcome to join who... Well, anyone who's worked on the game and is in the server is welcome to join. But yeah, um, let's see, what else is there? Uh, I want to find the Cyndaquil battle. Um, it was the, the There's the Cyndaquil. Okay, yeah, here we go. Ooh, Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil's a great mom. Yeah, so... Yeah. <laughs> Luke kept looking away at the most important part of this. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Always, always those few frames. He was looking away all the time. Yeah. It was so annoying I to mean, watch. that's our Luke for you. Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. So, Joel... Look out for... Sorry, just, just a moment. Um... <laughs> Joel, I have no problems with it, uh, but I think Nightbot just automatically pings it, so I'd suggest not to. And yeah, Luke's got to reach out as well, and you know, got to keep it yeah. PG for Luke. That's fair. At, right. at least, at least you got to, at least he got to see it in the forest. So yeah. we're good. But yeah, the um, like a lot of the dream forms were actually designed, uh, based on like a lot of them were designed using the Gen Five sprites. And this was one of the earlier ones de uh, designed. And Tay, who did like n a lot of the dream forms, uh, she designed this one. And her idea was originally to have like a poison gas coming out of the back instead of fire. Now, obviously, we, due to limitations um, with the models, we couldn't really do that. But we did the best we could with what we were able to. And there were a couple of designs here and there that suffered due to that. Um, some of which we're wanting to try and fix up uh, later down the track. But for the most part, we're really happy with everything that came and how it came out. But yeah, this Cyndaquil, honestly, I've had numerous test runs that have ended to this Cyndaquil because of poor encounters that I've gotten. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, this Cyndaquil and the Gulpin Trainer at the other end of the forest. Um, both have. Oh my god. Both, Gulpin? Yeah, both. Gulpin ended me. Both of them have been nerfed since their original introduction because of how lock ending they were. But yeah, uh, let's see. Going forward, what else do we have? Um, Sub Noodles, uh, Scroopy. Um, so yeah, in the forest, uh, yeah, Cyndaquil and Gulpin were the two dream forms available in here. Um, and outside, Pidov was the only one, so <clears throat> only one dream form that's been missed in the wild so far. That, well, that hasn't been revealed at least. Um, but yeah. Was it po uh, poison focus? Yes. Uh, Petalberg Woods were all poison types. And Route 104 uh, was all fairy types. Wait. Did we not keep the troll encounter in for Petalburg? I don't know what ah. you're talking about. 
Well, back to DMs we go. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember putting a troll encounter to begin with, so... No, no, you're, th uh, you're thinking... Um, it's a route just ahead. Oh, yeah, um, we were talking about... No, no, yeah, that's, it's not no Vic Victor's just told me. I think... I honestly can't remember. Um, Do we have a spreadsheet for this? Well, Somewhere. he's already been there and taken his encounter, so... Yeah, like, I don't know if we did or not. It was on originally, but I don't think it was anymore. Is it a... It's a I'll hop down that encounter. It's, encounter. it's not a dream form. It was just, um... One of the ideas we had was, um... To put Shroomish in the forest as, like, a throwback joke. <laughs> Which, I... Th it was in there, but I don't remember if we took it out. I... When I went through the forest, I did not encounter Shroomish yeah, I'm, at all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... We, I'm pretty sure we took Shroomish out. I... Yeah, yeah I think uh, we the dream form changed it was, so we could get more poison. I was one of the most... Sorry. I found the spreadsheet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry, okay. uh, when Dreamform chart be updated? Dreamform chart will be updated after this stream. Shroomish is a 5% encounter in Pedal Okay, Bird so it is there. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh. okay. <laughs> Yikes. Imagine if it would've got another 5%. That's amazing. <laughs> and not the good one. Okay, so sub noodle. uh, where about to you? Oh! Oh? That's a good attention to detail. It was the first Dexnav mod. You heard it when it was shaking in the grass. Oh, go figure. Oh, okay. I completely missed that. Yeah. <laughs> good, good ear. Good ear. Okay, so what's it called? Um, come on. Okay, let's get to. Oh no, that was when we broke Luke. Yeah. That was when he needed to go get water. I'm just trying to skip to the um, the battle music because yeah, the um. There's another yeah. kind team of sco team skull encounter music. Yeah, yeah, the uh, good team skull. The real, the team, real skull. team skull. The skull. The OG. I prefer the real team skull. Perfection. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, I just want to wait till this gets to a good um spot to just pause. So yeah, just there. Oh, Matt. There we go. Yeah. Can I talk about the dream form that I wanted, uh, but then ultimately decided that it was a bad idea? Uh, I scrapped it. DM at first. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but, that's probably the best. But yeah. Anyways, so um, <clears throat> so yeah, team sub noodle. Um, uh, our battle music was originally different. <laughs> um, I honestly don't even remember that idea being a. Th Thing. I'm pretty sure that was a. Sh I, that was a I sh talked to Healy that, and Tay yeah, about it. That was an idea for a shiny. That wasn't a dream form. Oh, oh, that's right. Sorry, yeah. my bad. That's nah, all good. Whatever. Um, okay, but yeah. So. Um... Oh, okay. What happened? Hang on, Nightbot. <laughs> he spammed caps according to Nightbot. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Following an all caps. Oh my god. Wait, no, 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 the one above. People? He put Hold Dream on. Arceus in all caps. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but uh. after being told not to spam caps, following and caps. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there you go. Oh my god. Did I just miss Nightbot Night dance somebody? Nightbot's just... Oh, no, Nightbot is on a crusade. No, it, it's yeah. only five second timeout, so yeah. it's fine. Anyways, so, the Team Sub Noodle. Um, yeah. The overworld theme was always the Team Skull music. It was just perfect, like... The idea for Team Sub New is we wanted it to be a team that seems like originally just kind of clumsy, but you know, kind of similar to how Team Skull in Gen 7 is, in that you don't really take them all that seriously, but they still walk around like, yeah, I'm evil. And so when I, th oh, yeah. when I think of that, the first thing I thought of was just Team Skull Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> like. <laughs> There was just no other choice, really. Um, but the battle music was actually something that we changed several times during development. Because um, originally we had no idea what we wanted uh, for it. Um, and Dusty uh, originally made a theme for us. Uh, which, you know, it was a good theme. It was It was good. It was passable. I was still learning how to do use that synthesizer. Yeah. I mean, it, it was good, like, for the time and everything. Um, yeah. And it was definitely a lot more in tune with the uh, Team Skull thing. 
But um, oh yeah. But yeah, the then when Brainfly came in, uh, pretty much the exact same time when we brought Brainfly in, Dusty here was like, "Please get rid of my music. I don't want that in the game." Yes, pres- Brainfly knows what he's doing. I'm still learning. <laughs> and so yeah, good old Brainfly here jumps in and it's like, "Yo, let me make some music for you." And it's a shame that we didn't bring him in until like towards the end of development because when we brought him in oh, he yeah. pretty much composed all the music for like the things that we hadn't worked out yet and they're all so good and if we got him in earlier we probably would have actually gone through with the custom trainer theme because that's yeah. another thing we try to wrestle around with. yeah that was another thing that we were trying to work out but inevitably we thought okay luke likes gen one let's go is the most recent kind of remake of it let's put the let's go battle theme in it's just easy fan service i believe you with that <laughs> well brain follow, that's your fault for not doing it quicker no, for him no it's not a matter of him being quicker it's a matter of he was um busy with life at the time so he... rod and rod at the very end yeah, yeah did luke go into a mart at any time yes he did I'm just... he did like straight away yeah. it was a crack up <laughs> John yeah. Didn't like it. Uh, but yeah anyway so uh let me play this because i know that um brainfly was afk during the um the debut of his song and he was really spewing that he missed it. So. Cerebi, researcher, hand over those keep, uh, get the volume adjusted real quick. Uh, yikes, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? You've got to help me, please. Uh, what do you think you're doing? You're but yeah, this was him. like this now thing when we heard it was just like, oh my god, Boss, we love this. Make news videos of the game plenty of who's the ball patterns. Prepare yourself. But yeah, here we go. And it just Are you serious? it works so it well in game. Noodle. And yeah, in the in the second trailer, this song was actually used as well. But funnily enough, Luke thought that it was a copyrighted song. Is evil and muted it. Patters is evil, and you need as he has done with every song. Oh yeah. Yeah. Joel asked how long until we have to. How long until we find out about Mystery Girl? Uh how long till we find out Mystery Girl? Um, yeah, from the pen of what's there's a couple of hints throughout what the story, the but it's what mostly Delta theme? episode. Yeah, as in the so, normal game. So like, like Zinya in the original mod. Yeah. Basically. Zinya was also hinted with appearances. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, ow. Like, we tried... So there you go. We tried for the few appearances that we put <laughs> throughout the, that, um, the story. We wanted to give, like not too much away but that basically build up the intrigue that there's something Brainfly up custom made this one that's so sick yeah this is custom made oh. someone, someone, someone yeah nobody noted uh, spam the panda i'm sure eventually someone will i mean even if like you're in the stream one day and you point it out sort of thing um i'm sure people will more notice it when they're able to hear Dude, it for themselves so as sick, well with your video bro. that's actually so sick um Joel, we're not going to be giving away any no. of the uh, dream forms. Oh Those are God. left for Luke to discover in game. <laughs> what is that? People are getting pursuit. desperate for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't go to IKEA. Like the oh my God! <laughs> in the build up. <laughs> Sightboard, please. Um. That's very delayed, isn't a, it? I have a pit up. Oh, oh, it, it does quad resist. That's a very good point. Okay, how do we make Nightbot not go all AWOL? I mean, there's gotta be a command or something. Yeah. Let, let be I, I'm sorry about People all this. People stop history. spamming in caps. I mean, it's okay to talk in caps. I spent most of the time talking in caps in chat anyway. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Nightbot, that's Nightbot's just, just I think getting you, angry I think about you'll it. have to look it's look bit, into yeah, Nightbot yeah. until yeah. like stream tomorrow. Oh, okay. Mia has gone and uh, counted up all of the slots on the Dreamform uh, Smash thing and counted 169. Hey! Nice! Nice! <laughs> nice! <laughs> that's, <peculiar. Yep. laughs> that's very interesting. That leaves... Well, that's the thing. That leaves a very high amount for speculation for all of you. Yep. 
that's all good, Brainfly. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks again for making the music for us in the game. Like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for hours. covering up my war crimes, Brainfly. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. 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 All right. Uh, but yeah, teams. Yes, you're back yes, now. Yes, you're back. Word of advice: Please don't talk in caps, otherwise Nightbolt is just going to time you out again. Yeah, Pokemon we we can we can look into that for next stream. Yeah. But Pokemon for now, Dusty commits a work. Keep it from caps. All right, so um, what else do we want to point out? Um, uh, one last thing I want to point out is the uh, Gulpin trainer as well. Where is he? Oh God! Yeah, here. So, yeah, this Gulpin trainer. Like, this Gulpin trainer, um, in testing, ended so many runs. Because um, so many people just did not have... Yeah. Oh, let me just up the quality again so we can see it. This Gulpin the is the reason why we have the game, mud bomb so early. Yeah, this Gulpin is another one that we've nerfed multiple times just to um, make sure that... It stayed balanced, sort of thing. Um, yeah. Like we had many people complain about it, and but yeah, it's it just goes to show how good a lot of these dream forms are. Like that was one thing we wanted to make sure is we wanted to try and make sure that the um we wanted to make sure a lot of the mu ah uh, what's it sorry I was reading Brainfly's messages. Um, we wanted to make sure that the dream forms felt better to use than the original, because what's the point in giving a Pokemon a form if it feels worse than the original? So, we wanted them to feel unique and, like, have a bit of personality to them in a way as much as you can, um, as well as just, like, feeling really good to use. So, as, like, you'll see a lot of um, forms going forward, and anything that Luke catches, you'll see, just like the Sneasel, a lot of them have really solid level up moves. Um, and the idea is that we wanted to try and keep, for a lot of them, the level up moves primarily being stab moves, and then have them learn their coverage moves through things like um, TMs, HMs, and stuff like that. But yeah, um... Uh, I don't think there's really anything else major to point out that I can think. What the? Who just got oh, timed no. out this time? Yeah, I got, got timed out again. Okay. Yikes. Oh, I'll fix it, Thank I'll fix you. it. Stop spamming symbols. Dora, stop picking just... on him. I'm not! Can <laughs> <laughs> we just time Nightbot out? Uh, I just... There we yeah, go. Nightbot is just out here crucifying people. Nightbot is relentless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> someone, someone put Nightbot in the taste of his own medicine. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I'm uh, not really sure if there's really anything else that I want to touch on. Is there anything you guys want to touch on from this stream? No, nothing. I hate Golden. Yeah. <laughs> Just how stupid that gulpin was again, it's just... <laughs> every single star. I think besides Slugma, every starter ha had problems can, with that gulpin. Can, can, can oh no, I, I, I had Slugma and I had issues with it. That's, I feel like I was the only one that didn't have issues and I had like the worst encounters at this point. Yeah. I got ended three times and then I told Matt and he said that it had already been nerfed and then I felt really bad. <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm not good at Pokemon. Uh -oh. But yeah, alright, so, um... Some, someone is putting on the detective clothing. <laughs> so. In that case, uh, hey. before we end up the, uh, wrap up the stream, um, hey, happy to take uh, questions from chat, and any ideas on, uh, like, any speculation or anything you want to say, go for it. Alright, let's have a look. Um... Uh, I was happy to see Pichu early game because it's my child. Yeah, we wanted to have a lot of electric, um, <laughs> electric types early game, and we thought Pichu, you know, just kind of fits. <coughs> Is Sweller also brown? That's something you'll have to see going forward. Yeah. 
Um, can I, <laughs> can, I s- me. can I slap Sora? <laughs> All right, get over here, Sora. Yikes. Okay. okay. You just have to try. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, I, I got I got you, Joel. <laughs> okay. Free <laughs> <laughs> Oh thanks Mia. Okay, like, honestly we're we're so happy that we're finally able to show you guys what we've been working on. Like you have no idea how hard it is to keep so much of this secret for so long. And the the craziest part is is that a lot of this stuff that was in the first stream is stuff that we'd had like already revealed just wait until we get to like future stuff um yeah where we can get even more aka tomorrow things, yeah. are, <laughs> things are gonna get crazier that's yeah. all we're gonna say thanks joel i appreciate it i mean i'm honestly things are gonna go apeshit hon- go crazy <laughs> honestly i think things are gonna get <laughs> really crazy by the second uh, time <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. Happy giggling was me all the time. Yeah, this. pretty much. They can confirm. They can confirm. Yeah, I, I was like, sorry, just to start in one uh, quick. Yeah, I appreciate that uh, so much, Joel. Um, it's yeah, I'm just starting to get used to this. Is it illegal to sell ROMs? Yes, it is. Um, <coughs> how like, it, like it's illegal to sell them. Yeah. If it's your own complete own game right i mean not no like it, a it, ROM it's hack. illegal to sell oh. any roms no no matt but it's also they, apparently they illegal asked, if you dump a cartridge if oh if, sell if, the if it's legal no no it's game. not legal yeah that's why i was confused <laughs> Sorry, I, yeah that, that was what i was thinking about yeah. you're being very contrary oh my god <laughs> um okay giving them out can be a bit sketchy um for this, we won't be providing a ROM. Um, we'll be providing a patch for it. So you guys will have to find your own ROM for it, which um, I cannot give you a link to for legal reasons. Um, or just dump the game. Dumping the, yeah, dumping the, dumping the game is easy. Google is your friend. Yeah, Google is your friend. There are ways to get it. Um, uh, you just need normal Alpha Sapphire. Um, and there for... Uh, basically, we'll be including all of the files specifically for the game. Um, and yeah, it'll be basically... I'll have an instruction video on how to set up the game. And then from there, yeah. Um, but that's all going to be coming after Luke finishes the series because we don't want to um, have any spoilers going around. Soon TM. Like As it was, we had one person who contributed to the game but didn't like wasn't involved with the development um spoil something uh in the chat thankfully we were able to get rid of it before luke really saw it but we just don't want people to we don't want things to accidentally slip and um get let loose uh yeah so before we end uh okay thanks to all the mods on stream it's thank you, Joel, like, for coming out and, st- like, sticking out with us. Yeah, they were fast tonight. Yeah, yeah. like, we have been, the th- <laughs> not a lot of the mods worked on the game, and so, like, all of them are just as passionate as the rest of us yeah. as well. Yeah, one one dude said, oh, mods are sleeping. Yeah. As two mods at the same time, the same second time, one person. Yeah. Oh no, we had we had yeah. one person get hit by timeout by four people at the same oh, time. Oh, I remember that. Oh, yeah. I remember that one. Yeah. Yeah, I had, I had struggled keeping attention to the chat. Yeah, my bad on that. Yeah, it's okay. But yeah, so make it five. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have six? Do we have six? One, two, three, so. Okay. Six. So, okay. I... Um, so yeah, let's wrap up the stream here, guys. Uh, thank you all for coming out with us. Thank you, everyone in chat, for hanging out with us. Um, we'll be doing this post stream, uh, like this post playthrough stream, again tomorrow for and for every episode going forward. Um, <gasps> like, uh, so yeah, I hope you guys come out for that. <laughs> um, and yeah, I don't know what time Luke will be finishing tomorrow, so I can't exactly say same time tomorrow, but 
<laughs> oh no, Tristan just got here. <laughs> Ooh. Quick question, so where's it will be somewhere between now and later, Quick question, okay? where's Sora from? Cause him a slap him. Uh hit me up in Germany. <laughs> He's from Sorassic Park. <laughs> Sorassic oh, Park. God. Oh god. Ah! <laughs> I have to stop slapping my hands. Oh, Alright. That's okay. one way to <laughs> That's a way to end this game. Yeah, how did you know? I told oh, you yeah. before. <laughs> All I all I want to say is that seeing Luke play this game makes oh. me incredibly proud. Yep. And I'm so excited for everyone to experience what's to come. Yep. Because yeah. Yeah. Just game knowing is that everybody gets to see it is like. Yeah. It's. Yeah. We can't wait for you guys to see what is coming up with this uh, game. And yeah. The bombs um, are deterring. Uh, anyways, so yeah, thank you all for coming out. Um. We'll be back here. I don't know if it'll be the same crew. We may have different people here after tomorrow's stream. Um, and yeah, I hope you here. enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for coming out again, guys. See ya. Bye. Bye.